Welcome to GFGN. We're here on the north side of Camelback around 19th Street. We're at a great neighborhood restaurant today, the Armadillo Grill. It's been here since 97. Let's go inside and see Lisa, who's talking to the owner. Hey, Trey, thanks for that. I am here inside with Brenda Lambrecht, who defines the woman on the go. Oh, thank you. Working mom, two, two teenagers. Two teenagers. Great teenagers, though. Great teenagers, <laughs> love it. Always have to put that in. You're a good, you're a good mom. Um, as well as owner of the business, and you also like to work out, and you're a foodie. How do you, how do you manage? You know, uh, it's all about the people I hire. So I've been very fortunate to have great people around me. They they do wonderful things and um, have great food too. So that's that's how I do it. That's the secret. I love it when you come here. There is an awesome vibe. How do you keep those people coming back? Well, we have a, a service philosophy called Raving Fans, which is based on a book out of the '80s. So it's very old, but it's it's still pertinent to today, where satisfied guests aren't good enough. And we hire for personality of people, and we ask everybody to read the book. And it basically means that if you come in here, OK is not good enough. We want to make sure everything's wonderful and that they feel at home when they come in the doors. you got to have some cool stories if you see these regulars. Yeah, we have quite a few. Um, you know, we've had a lady, we used to have live music, and we had a lady ask if she could get on stage. And she actually um, proposed to her boyfriend. And they got married and had two kids. And yeah, so we have lots of different fun stories like that. I gotta ask, how do you come up with this name? We wanted to be, I had a business partner initially, um, he moved on about 11 years ago, but we wanted to be as close to the fr front of the phone book as possible. So Armadillo is an A name, yeah. Aardvark Grill just doesn't sound as appetizing. Doesn't have the so, ring. So Armadillo is what, what stuck. And then last question for you, what would be that last meal? If you were gonna eat anything, what would be on your dish? Ooh. Definitely a martini, cucumber martini with a big bowl of uh, Thai green curry. Ooh, or a lot of appetizers so I can eat a little bit of everything. Thanks so much, one. Brenda. That's Thank making me hungry. Me. And Thank I you. heard that rumor has it, Trey is in the kitchen cooking up something delish. Check it out. Chef Ozell, hey, how are you doing, man? Good, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing great. So what do you got for us? We're going to prepare a uh, ackee seared tuna salad. Oh, I love that. Is it one of your favorite dishes? Yeah, it's one of my favorite dishes. Okay, so, let's make it. Let's go for all it. All right. Yeah, so you started out here. You weren't the chef. You were like a line cook or something. You moved up to Yeah, the, I yeah. started working on the salad. And the salad part yeah. when I started working. And now you're making a salad today. Yeah, I <laughs> love to make salads. <laughs> all right, let's make them. Then we have uh, jack soba noodles. OK. We yeah. have some uh, spring mix. Oh, OK. All right, I love those noodles. Those soba noodles are great. So balsamic vinegar. Uh, OK, I get some sauce going on there, right? Yeah. Mix all together. Yeah, yeah. So is this available every day here at the Dillo, as they say? Yeah, we have it every day. You can come in and have it any day. Lunch, want. dinner, yeah. every day. Yeah. Like twice if I want. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> OK. So we're going to put it on a plate. OK, I like that. Yes. Yeah, it's looking great. Now the tuna, you've already seared it, obviously. Yeah, we yeah. already have seared yeah. it. What else you got on there? That's not just regular tuna. You got some spices or something? It's uh, sesame, white sesame seeds and black oh, sesame seeds. I love the sesame. Then we're going to cut it oh, for pieces. Oh, that looks great, though. Thanks. Uh, you got to love seafood. You love, you love seafood? I love oh, seafood. Me too. And then we're going to put this. them on a plate. Yeah, OK. Always about the design and the presentation, huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, good. Some little carrots. Yeah, carrots. Yeah. What else we got? Oh, cucumbers. We have cucumbers. Cucumbers, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's looking awesome. And you make this how many times a day, you think? Probably like 17. They're going to make it a couple more today because I'm going to need a couple of these. <laughs> hey. All right. And some tomatoes. Then we're going to cut some tomatoes. All right. Yeah, this looks great. Um, and I know there's the guys in the back are in the other part of the kitchen making some other dishes for me as well. Yeah. So They're cooking some pasta and yeah. some other dishes. All right. So we're going to put all together. Yeah, and then this is it. Huh? Finishes it up. Oh, man, you got to be kidding me. I like how you make this all pretty, and then just devour it, you know? Put the <laughs> and sauce then we're going to put some uh, sweet soy. OK, and then that's it? That's and good to that's go? that's it, and some bell peppers on top. OK, awesome. Well, Lisa got the tuna, but guess what? I'm in the other part of the kitchen, and I've got their signature veggie burger with fruit. This is good stuff, but, and wait for it, this is what it's all about. Buffalo Mac. And it comes with a convenient fork, so you know what? 
Oh, come on, man. Are you kidding me? I'm just going to stay here. Lisa, look what I brought from the kitchen. Seared ahi tuna Ooh, salad. Thanks so much. I have so much to choose from. I know. What is all this? <laughs> I have the seven bandit armadillo salad followed by some awesome fried pickles. I'm going to have one of these. Hey, don't steal my food. Mm. So if you want great food in a good neighborhood, it's the armadillo grill right here. See you next time on GFTN. We're going to dig in. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, no, do you want the seared tuna? Oh, okay. I don't know. I'm going to show the fried pickles, right?